all of you switch on the video okay so in the previous session we discussed about some looping constructs or selection constructs which are the different selection constructs puja if statement if else statement if else statement ah uh, then then if l if else statement okay correct puja that is the different selection or conditional statements are if statement that is simple if if the condition is true then only we can execute some statements that is simple if if statement then after that it is if else statement that is a set of statements are the for execution based on if the condition is true if the condition is true it will execute a set of statement then if the condition is false it will execute another set of statements that is if else the next one it is if else if else statement that is if the condition is true it will execute some statement if the condition is false it will check another condition and based on that condition it will decide which statement is executed next okay in the case of if else after false uh, true condition in the case of false condition there is no condition checking we can execute some statements but in the case of if else if statement at the time of else if or false condition we can execute a set of statements based on one another condition okay so this is if else if statement if else if else if is for else if else if is for else if so the syntax it is if expression 1 statements else if then we discuss this one and one program also isn't it did you complete this program no ma'am no okay it is the last topic we discussed is it if else if no ma'am which one if else if else only okay okay so this is if else if else that is if the expression is true it will execute a set of statements if the expression is false the control moves to else and it will execute statements under this else okay that is if else two programs related with else the first one is this one and uh, did you complete that uh, word casting program based on if else yes ma'am okay okay so the next one it is if else if statement okay if else if sometimes there are more than two possibilities in the case of else if if else there is only one possibility in the case of if else there is only not one in the case of if there is only one possibility in the case of if else two possibilities if the condition is true or false so two possibilities but in the case of if else if statement there are more than two possibilities that include either three possibility or four possibility or five possibility just like that okay so if there is a chance of more than two possibility you use this if else if statement this else if stands for else if else if okay in the case of if else 
the case of if else we can give only in the case of if else we can give only uh, condition only along with this if under uh, along with this else we can't give any condition but in the case of if else if we can give condition here also in the case of if else if l if after l if we can give another condition that is second condition okay so in the case of if else we can okay so the case of if else there is only two possibility if you want to use more than two possibility in a program you want to use if else if statement this else if stands for else if which means that if the original if statement is false if the original if statement is false the else if statement is, the and the else if statement is true it will execute the code uh, just write this index i will explain this index then you can understand the concept here this is the first condition if the condition is true if it is true it will execute the statement just under this if statement then if the expression is false then it will execute this else if statement along with this else if statement we are using second condition here i am using another condition if this condition is true it will execute this statement if it is false it will execute another if else statement here third condition then if this third condition is true it will execute this statement if it is false it will execute the else part here i am using only else so there is no condition if i am using else simply using else that means along with this else we can't use any condition if i am using if or else if then only we can give a condition okay if uh, if i am using if or else if along with if and else if we can use condition but with else we can't give any condition okay clear puja Yes. Okay. Can you repeat it over? Okay. So this is if else if statement. If else if statement means if the condition. This is the first condition. That is, expression one is the first condition. Expression two is the second condition. This one is the third condition, and this is the false part. Okay. So if first condition is true, it will execute the statement just under this if expression. then if this first condition is false then it will execute the else if statement along with this else if statement i am using another condition that is second condition if this condition is true then it will execute this statement if the condition is false it will execute the third condition third else if statement third condition second else if third condition then here if the third condition is true it will execute the statement just under the else if statement if it is false the control moves to the else part and it will execute the statement okay is it clear yes okay so write a program <coughs> write the question write a program to check 
check if the entered digit is if the entered digit <coughs> is single digit two digit or three digit number all of you switch on the video jacob ranil vinayak jos john 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 okay alan okay What is the first step now we need for that program? Ma'am, I didn't get the question. Write a program to check whether the entered digit is a single digit, two digit, or three digit number. For that program, first, what do you want to do? Um, input. Ah, yes, input. You want to input what? Uh, number. Yes, correct. Now we need first. You want to input one integer or number. Okay, for that the statement is Alan, which is the statement for input a number. Um, mm. Uh, and then uh, bracket, then integer. First, you want to write one variable name? No. A is equal to. Okay. A is equal to. Then continue, uh, Alan. Int. Ah, correct, Alan. Int. Uh, then a bracket. Hmm. Uh, then input. Yes, input. Uh, then bracket again. Then in. Uh, Hmm. In quotes, enter a number. Yeah. Okay, Alan. Enter a number. So first, I input one integer number. Then, after that, I want to check if the entered number is a single digit or two digit or three digit number. Okay. Before that, I will just check. If the entered number is a negative number or greater, that is, if it is a negative or positive number, then only we can go through that first digit, second digit, third digit. Okay. So how we can handle that negative number calculation or negative number checking? Jewel? Um, if A is uh, mm. less than uh, one. Less than one. Less than one. Then zero. Ah, correct, Jewel. So the condition is. Very good, Joel. That is, if a less than zero, after that one colon. So the first condition is, if a less than zero, that means here we are checking if the entered number is a negative number or positive number. If it is a negative number, there is no need of checking if it is a single digit, two digit, or three digit. OK. You want to enter one positive number and you want to check if that positive number is single digit, two digit or three, three digit. Okay. So first we will check if the number is negative or positive. If it is negative, you want to give a message like print enter a number within enter a valid number. You can give a message like enter a valid number or <coughs> Or we can give and then a number between zero and triple nine. Okay. So if the entered number is less than zero, we can give a message like this that is, this is not enter the number. Just give a 
just give a number with is invalid okay invalid number okay so if a less than 0 print a message invalid number after that which is the next statement there anjan else ah uh, is it else if i am giving else we can't give any condition <coughs> ma'am if uh, if the number is greater than 0 uh, 0 then i am giving else here okay then then how i check that uh single digit two digit this is also possible under the cells we can use if and else just like that okay nested if nested if using nested if we can use now we are dealing with if else if else if so how is the statement niranjan else if uh, a is greater than 0 one second elif elif a greater than 0 a greater than 0 then <coughs> continue niranjan what happened a uh, if a greater than 0 what is the message you want to write program ah. for uh, checking the uh, single the, digit ah single digit two digit and three digit yeah so ah. so what should be right if a greater than 0 what do you want to write if a greater than 0 we should take that now here if a less than 0 means if it is a negative number i want to print invalid number okay then in the else part what is else part it is not a negative number that is the else part so a positive number is there so now i want to check if that positive number is a single digit two digit or three digit how that is the question very simple The number is less than ten. This is single digit number, isn't it? So that, what should we print, ma'am? Ah, oh, it's a positive number. You just print. It is a positive number. Here, just use if a less than ten. If a a if a less than ten. One second. so first i want to input a number a is equal to int input and a one number okay that is the first statement after that i want to check if the entered number is a positive number or negative number if it is a negative number then there is no need of continuing uh, the program just stop the program without any uh, condition checking just skip the program for that purpose i am using if if 
a less than zero all the values that is less than zero is considered as negative number so a less than zero is a negative number so that is if the number is less than zero print a message so after tab space you give the second statement that is print invalid number okay then what is the else part of this if that is a positive number okay here if a less than zero means it is a negative number so i will give a message invalid number then the false part of this if means it is greater than zero a greater than zero means it is a positive number so here i will just write a leaf a leaf within that positive number i want to check if the entered number is a single digit number two digit number or three digit number so a leaf <clears throat> a less than 10 if a is less than 10 what is the message john jos ma'am it is a single digit number ah, print it is a single digit number Okay, Vinayak, switch on the video, Tom. Okay, Jis, what is the next condition, Jis? Um, A is uh, less than 100. Uh, less than 100, then? Print double digit. Print double digit. Good G's. Print double digit. Okay. Then, what about the next one, Anaga? Ma'am, Elif, uh, A less than 1000. A less than 1000. Then and print it is a three digit number. Print it is a three digit number. You just type the messages. It is a three digit number or A is a three digit number. A is a double digit number, or two digit number, just like that. Okay. I'm just writing single digit, double digit, three digit. You give the correct message, output message. Okay. So after that, what is the statement? No need. Oh, here it is thousand. Okay. Uh, the... You just think. After last a lift, what is the statement? <coughs> no idea? Okay. Unmute now, Neet. No, ma'am. I don't know. Okay, okay. Jewel, any idea? Um, else statement. Mm, else. Under else, what do you want to write? Correct, Jewel. Here, the else part, we can give a message like enter a number between 0 and 1000. Okay. If I am entering a negative number, it will execute this statement. Then, if I am entering a number that is greater than 1000, it will execute the statement under this elf, else. Print number between zero and thousand. Enter a number between zero and thousand. Or we can give invalid number, or it is a number greater than thousand is entered. You can give a message like this You entered a number that is greater than thousand. Just like that. Okay. So this is the program. 
to check whether one num one uh, whether the entered number is a single digit two digit or three digit number i will explain with some sample values okay if i am giving uh, what niranjan uh, who is this so uh. sound is breaking who is this ma'am hear me ma'am can you hear me yes yes okay john continue is less than 100 is less than 100 now it is not clear the sound is breaking okay i will explain with some example okay so first i am inputting a number 8 how is the control flow i will just input 8 so the value of a it is 8 then here i am checking 8 is less than 0 is it true or false that is false okay so the control moves to elif part here i am checking 8 less than 10 it is a correct statement so it will execute single digit number okay then it will stop the condition <coughs> here it will check 8 less than 100 it is false 8 less than 1000 it is false then we are not checking this one it will answer the uh, it will just give a message like single digit okay then if i am giving a value 18 what happened alan how is the control flow alan um, uh, if it's 18 mm 18 the value is 18 then what about this statement vinayak how is the control flow if the value of a it is 18 ma'am it is to ah then what happened here if it is 18 print the valid number hmm if it is 18 it will print Valid number. Where is the message like valid number? We need to go to the third from less than hundred. Yes, yes, Alan. Okay, good. So Vinayak, A is the value of A. It is eighteen. So eighteen less than zero is a false statement. So it will move to elif part here again. Eighteen. It will check eighteen less than ten. This is again false. So the control moves to the second elif part. so it is 18 less than 100 it is a true statement so it will print double digit okay rahul if it is 180 what happened it's not 180 1800 how is the control flow i want to know the control flow what is control flow from starting i want to know rahul mm -hmm. was the value of a it is 1800 so it is 1800 then ma'am it will be uh, false yes okay then and then uh, again it will be false okay yes. what about the second elif ma'am false yes then ma'am again false here also false no no no, no. Uh, a is greater than 1000 so mm. Here it is. It's correct, Rahul. A less than thousand is, is also false. Is oh, okay. No. Huh? Is it true or false, Rahul? I'm true, true. A less than thousand. No, no. Here. No. Just relax and say. Uh, um, the value of A is thousand eight hundred. Then. Here thousand eight hundred. 
less than thousand. Ma'am, it is not less. Yes, here it is less than. Or how this uh, message will work? Or it is greater than? Ma'am, it is false, right? Yes, false. Correct, Rahul. Then. Ma'am, it will move to uh, else. Yes. Then it will print number between zero. To, you want to enter a number between zero to hundred. Okay. Enter a number between zero to not hundred thousand. Is it clear, Jis? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then, John, your doubt is also cleared. I think. Okay. Then I am entering a value that is negative five. Renil, what happened if I am entering a value negative five? Renil is not there. Then Tom. Okay. Renil. Renil. Am I audible, Renil? Tom. Yes. Mm. If I am entering a value negative five, what happened? Okay, Ranil. Tom? Um, um, can you hear me? What, Tom? Um, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Now I'm here. Okay. Say the answer. If it, if it is negative five. What, ma'am? Ma the internet here is not stable. Okay, okay, okay. No out. problem. Okay, Jacob. Jacob, Johnny? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. If I am entering negative 5, what is the result? I am invalid number. Hmm. Invalid number. That is, here it will check negative 5 less than 0. That is true statement, so it will execute invalid number. Is it clear, this if elif statement? Okay, then write another program. Write a program to accept. Write a program to accept. Write a program to accept percentage of a student, percentage of a student, and display grade, display grade. The grade pattern it is If the percentage is greater than 85, grade is A. If the percentage is between 70 and 85, the grade is B. Then between 60 and 70, C. 45 and 60, D. Less than 45, it is E. Okay. So, first you want to enter one flawed value. That is, uh, we consider percentage as a flawed value. So, enter one flawed value as percentage and check if the entered percentage is greater than 85. And if a condition is with two comparison, then just write like this, elif percentage, if the 
uh, variable for percentage is p then if p greater than 70 and to join two relation operation relational operation or relational expression we are using and okay so p greater than 70 and again write the variable name p less than or equal to 85 okay if i am using here i am using two relational operation so for connecting these two relational operator uh, operation i am using the logical operator and okay so first write p greater than 70 and p less than or equal to 85 you can't uh, write like this that is p greater than 70 and less than or equal to 85 that is a wrong statement again you want to write the variable name here okay after and once again you want to write the variable name p okay then colon is it clear once again i will explain here it was okay that is if p greater than 85 then print a how we can write a how we can write a print a how we can write a anyone I want to print if the grade is a percentage is greater than 85 I want to print a how is the statement just unmute and say anyone Niranjan print a ah, a how how we double represent quotes. a ah, within single quotes or double quotes okay because a is a character no so you want to write a within single quotes or double quotes okay so if p greater than 85 then print within single quotes or double quotes print a then a if within that a if i want to give two conditions so a if p that is percentage greater than 70 and again write p less than or equal to 85 colon then here i want to print if the percentage is between 70 and 85 the grade it is b so print b okay then again give another situation that is l for c then another l for d then give one else for e there is no need of checking this one. The else part of this is less than 45. Okay. Just write the program. After that, we can discuss um, that program. Okay, Naranjan. Uh, in the last question, uh, we, we should uh, write that uh, if it is greater than 10 and less than 100, it is a uh, two-digit number, right? Ah, it is also possible. It is also correct. So if we are not writing, it is greater than 10. Uh, if no, we are no, no, it is uh, under this else part. No, here also we can give a single comparison. Once again, uh, once one minute. Here, if I'm giving this is the else part of this one. So if I am giving a single digit number 8, so it will, here it is false. So the control moves to this one. Then here, if the condition is false, then only we can move to this position. Okay. Then engine, you uh, enter uh, that uh, doubted number, which is that number? Which one? 50. 50. 50. Okay. So I'm giving 50. So how is the control flow, Niranjan? First, Here it is 50. Uh, so it's false. Ah. So a leaf uh, num number is less than 10, also ah. it is false. False, then? The next statement it is true. Mm. If it is true, what happened? It will execute the statement just below the statement okay if it is false then only it will move to 
this else part okay ma'am so in ah. the next program also we can uh, ah, we can write like this condition ah, no problem i will just explain some conditions based on that and that's why i'm giving that condition okay you can write like this also that is first you want to write num greater uh, that is ma percentage greater than 85 then percentage greater than 70 just like that no problem Ma'am, in the previous question, did you put colon? What? And that colon. Colon is colon is needed. Is it missing? Yes, colon. What is the doubt, Alan? No, oh, I didn't put that colon. Okay, okay. In the first. No. now we are absent now we are absent puja completed puja yes ma'am okay so we will discuss that question in the next class okay and also we can discuss the question paper okay thank you bye children